Hi, in this video, we're gonna go over the features in the FET simulation for density. So start off with the FET website, scroll down to chemistry, and then click on density. Click the play button and let's get started. There are three areas for the simulator, the intro, compare, and mystery. So let's start off with the intro. It gives you a block or if you click this button, two blocks, and you have some different controls. So you can choose the substance between styrofoam, wood, ice, brick, aluminum, or custom. Although there are some limits on custom. Um, you can't go above 10 liters and you can't go above 10 kilograms. But other than that, you can do custom, aluminum, um, you can have multiple objects. Um, as you are changing the density of your custom object, it actually will keep track up here in this density table, giving you some reference points between human, glass, titanium, steel, copper. So as you increase the density or decrease the density, it gives you a rough idea of what kind of substance you've created with your custom slider. The volume is going to be labeled here on the side, but there's something important to note when you're dealing with a substance that floats, the displacement is only going to be the volume for what's under the water. So you have to click and hold it under the water to get your full volume for where that object. So this is a piece of wood that is 10 liters of volume, but only four liters of displacement because it floats and most of the volume is outside of the water. That's important to kind of keep tabs on um, because a lot of times students will drop it in and see the volume change and just assume that's the total volume and it's only the volume of what is being displaced. So you have to hold it under the water to see your total volume for that object. All right, now let's look at compare. So compare, we are allowed to do the same mass and you're allowed to set your mass again in kilograms, same volume, different masses, and you get to set the volume and there will be different masses. And then same density where you get to set the density and you have different mass and different volumes. Finally, the last piece is mystery. And this one is the most valuable, I feel. You have a balance over here. So you can set any of the blocks on the balance and get a reading, so 0.4 kilograms. Then you can take that box and drop it in the water. But again, remember, you have to hold objects under the water to get the true volume of the entire object. So this is one liter of volume but if you didn't hold it under the water, you might have a student write down 0.4 liters. So we have 0.4 kilograms and one liter. So you can go through and measure the mass and then measure the volume and your density table will allow you to determine what substance you're working with. You have set one, set two, set three, and random. I like random because you can kind of create almost an infinite number of sets with random um, so that everyone is working on a different set. Hopefully this helped give you a preview on the features and good luck.